Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with Nick Jaspi right there getting a head start on the baseball mixer. But we're going to do the randomizer right here. This is Jaspi's 8-box Bowman warm-up mixer. Definitely a good warm-up to uh, the big Bowman day we're having tomorrow. We're starting at 6 a.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. And we're kicking off with like four Bowman break, Bowman baseball break. So join us early. But for here, giving away a Panini Elite Extra Edition. Jason Mingus, already graded for you, 9510. Here are the boxes included right here. And big thanks to everyone right here. Big thanks to all the people who bought their spots straight up, and congrats to the winners of these mixer spots right here as well. All 30 teams are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Lucky seven times, two and a five. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven, we got Dan G down to Adam Kupperman. Seven times for the teams. Two, three, five, and seventh and final time. Remember, the uh, Jason Mingus will be randomized at the very end of the break along with many other randomizers we need to do. Different dice roll. All right, so congrats. Thank you. And here we go. Dan G, Tigers. Rick, you got the Padres. Adam with the Yankees. Nice. Adam with the Phillies as well. Jared with the Angels. Zach with the Marlins. Chad with the Red Sox. David, you got my Dodgers. Jeremy with the Giants. Adam with the O's. Michael with the Astros. JP with the Brew Crew. Brian with the Pirates. Juan with the Reds. Daniel with the Twins. Rex with the Royals. Ryan with the A's. David with the Diamondbacks. Kevin with the Indians, J uh, Justin with the White Sox, Matthew Shearer with the Mets, Brian Zeller with the Mariners, Joe Drobeck with the Nats, Matthew Shearer with the uh, Cardinals, Chris with the Rocks, Daniel with the Jays, Jason with the Braves, Edwin with the Rangers, Richard Johansson with the Rays, Adam Kupperman with the Chi-Town Cubs. All right, so let's sort by column B. Rex has the Royals up for trade. This doesn't want any any Bobby Wood Juniors in this. All right, and this is what we're giving away at the very end. So we'll give it a a, a minute or so for trades. We'll keep the video running while Nick's uh, ripping those boxes up there, and we'll come back we'll see if there's any trades, and we'll have the break. Here's the here's the screen again. All right, looks like no trades. Royals, A's, Rockies available, blah, blah, blah. All right, well, let's roll. Trade window closed. TWC, let's print, let's rip, let's get this break going. Bowman baseball. And so I think it's going to be a 
This is a mega box right here. This is the final printout right here. There you go. Good luck, everybody. Thanks for getting in. Really appreciate it. And let's roll. We'll randomize that Jason Mingus at the end. Can you give a rundown of what ships and dozens? Oh, right. So it'll just be paper, right? No veteran commons and no paper-based ships. This will also apply to tomorrow, I think. All prospect chrome cards, vet rookie prospect inserts, refactors, hits, autographs, etc., will ship. So this Mookie bets, Ozzy Albee's not shipping. All right. No paper. No paper at all ships. Chrome does ship. Unless it's a veteran. Paper. Chrome. Paper. So this will be pretty similar to what you're going to see tomorrow as well. Just so there's no surprises. Franklin Perez. Tigers, that's going to go to Dan G. Pete Alonzo, Bowman Chrome, I heard of him. For the Mets, he's pretty good, Matthew. We got ready for the show, Usnail Diaz. I think, I think that's who the Orioles got in that Machado deal. Supposed to be pretty good. Is he ready for the show? I don't know if he's ready. Hopefully. Maybe next year. Alec Baum. Phillies, that's going to be for Adam Kupperman. We got Jesus Lazardo for the A's. That's for Ryan Harold. He could be a big name this year. When and if the baseball season gets underway. Joe Adele, I've heard of him. Angels, Jared Smith. Kiebert Ruiz, Dodger catcher of the future. That'll go to David Duffy. Chris Shaw, rookie of the year favorites. We got Logan Allen. Padres, that'll be for Rick Conza. And Ryan Mountcastle could make a splash this year for the Orioles. And that'll be for Adam Kupperman this year or next. Remember, no, no paper. Paper doesn't go. Chrome does go, unless it's a vet, I guess. Chrome, no paper. Obviously, for 2020 stuff, Jason Dominguez paper will ship. And Bobby Wood Jr. paper will ship for tomorrow's stuff. All right, now let's get into uh, some 2018 bone. Yeah, 2018. So that's paper, no paper at all. Chrome, yes. This is actually a good warm up. For <laughs> There's Will Banfield to 250. Got to get used to the process. Paper, 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 paper. Will Banfield for the Marlins. That'll be for Zach. Paper, 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 paper. There's Jonathan India to 4.99, and we've got Blue Jays Griffin Conine. I think is Jeff's kid, Daniel Patera, with the Blue Jays. Yep, son of M former MLB player Jeff Conine. Born three months before his dad won the 1997 World Series with the Marlins, as a brother and a sister. Jonathan India should be a big corner infield prospect for the. Uh, for the Reds, too. That'll go to Juan Hernandez. Logan Gilbert to 402 for Seattle. That's going to go to Brian Zeller. Bobby Flay actually going to lose this one? Wow. He's going to lose on his own 
show, yeah, right. I've seen him lose maybe like once out of like one out of every fifteen episodes. I mean, it's it's like it's like a boxer who just gets scrubs to come. I mean, these are all good chefs, but but they're not like Bobby Flay. Level. And if it was like, oh, presented by Floyd Mayweather. Yeah, <laughs> you're right, right. It's like, yeah, Floyd, you're 49 and 0 because. <laughs> Uh, Rex is saying, do you know Robert Acuna Sr. was a prospect in 2002, 2002? That means he was really young when Junior was born, unless Sr. was an older prospect. Probably an older prospect. I feel like those international prospects back then were like in their mid-20s to like their 30s. Nowadays, they're just snagging them when they're like 16, 17 years old. Griffin Roberts to 250. I don't know. Is Acuna worth the hype? I don't know. I don't know. Cardinals, that'll be for Matthew Shira. Ryan Rollison, uh, obviously this kind of paper will ship. Who'd you rather have, Juan Soto or Ronald Acuna Jr.? Juan Soto. Yeah. But Acuna's cards go for double. So double Juan Soto's card? Yeah. I think Atlanta helps. Yeah. But Soto won a World Series. Yeah. I mean, if he was a World Series MVP, maybe that would have been different. Yeah. I forgot who won MVP. I mean, see, exactly. Maybe Soto should have won it. Yeah. There's uh, Cody Clemens, one of Rogers' kids. Out of 150, Blue Wave autograph with the Tigers. That'll be for Dan G. I think he, he's got Cody Clemens. I think Casey Clemens is in the Blue Jays organization. And there may be another... Another... Clemens, maybe a pitcher Clemens in the Astros organization, maybe? Yes, twice. I made it to the dessert round each and every time I was robbed. A lot of paper right here. We got Calvin. Coker? <laughs> Go with that. You gotta be careful, it's a family show. Oh, there's a Kobe Clemens that Rick is saying is Astros. Alright. So we got Cody Clemens, Tigers Edition, Kobe Clemens, Astros Edition, and Casey Clemens, Blue Jays Edition. Is that how it goes? Nice Bo Bichette right there, too. different years right here. We're going to close with that sapphire. Wait, he has two sons named Cody? I'm thoroughly confused now. Come on, Roger. Why are you making it hard on all of this? we got Nico Horner, uh, Arizona Fall League card, and there's Nick Green to 25. Orange Shimmer for the Yankees. That's going to go to Adam Kupperman. Oh, and there's Owen Miller autograph. That's for the Padres, Rick K. It's gonna be hard for this to be the son of a player like that. Pressure to be good, yeah, certainly is. But I mean, at the same time, I don't know. When you grow up in baseball, I think they, there's also like a there's also a cool confidence to those players who are. Who are sons of baseball players? I think if there are first rounders, I think there would certainly be pressure. But Cody Bellinger is the son of a baseball player, and 
he was drafted like in the fifth or sixth round or something like that. I don't think any of the Clemens kids were drafted super high. So pressure might be off. To 250, Eli White for the Rangers. For Ken Griffey Jr., I guess he was just instantly just... You can just tell he was so good that I don't think it was a problem for him either. Purple Shimmer. I'll bet the pressure's the hardest when they're in, um, like, little, like, when they're little. I think that's got to be where the pressure is. Because by high school, you're going to know if any of these players are going to be decent or not. Cal Quantrill, but I'll bet growing up is probably the worst. I think that's where the biggest pressure is because they'll be they'll be like, oh, you're Nolan Ryan's kid, or you're, you know, Dante Bichette's kid, or you're Roger Clemens's kid. So in middle school or whatever, in elementary school, little league, pony league, whatever, if you're not playing well, then they're like, come on, what gives? Why do you suck? <laughs> We've got Kevin Merrill. Oakland A's. Ryan Harold with that one. There you go. From 2017 Bowman Draft. Remember, no paper at all. Except tomorrow. Uh, same thing. No paper will ship tomorrow. Except we will, we will pull Jason Dominguez paper and Bobby Witt Jr. paper. Those are the only two players that get that special treatment. It's a good warm-up right here. I can breeze through all this paper. Don't need that. And all this chrome will ship. Obviously, numbered paper cards will ship. It's Peter here. Not as Bowman's first card, but yes. save one of those. Out of two fifty, Chris Oakey. So stuff like that. That paper will go. Ooh, nice. Defining Moments Auto, Joe Adele, on-card auto for the Angels. Jared Smith, that's last spot mojo. He bought the last spot straight up. 46 out of 99. I wonder, in a shortened season, if they'll call him up. Or if they'll just say, hey, just keep marinating in the minors, I guess. Or no, maybe, I mean, I don't know. We'll have to see. Everything's up in the air. Who knows what's going to happen. Or maybe you do play him in the majors. You might as well give him the AB, Major League Baseball ABs, right? What do you think, Sean? Hope not, says Sean. I don't know. I guess every team would have, like, I guess their own strategy on what they want to do with players that, like, I mean, I guess Gavin Lux is definitely going to be starting. But I don't know if Joe, Joe Adele, did Joe Adele come up for a cup of coffee last year, Sean? I forget. If Joe Adele did come up for a little bit last year, then I think the chances are better that he'll just, that they will give him Major League ABs. But if that clock hasn't started, maybe they just wait for the following season. Or maybe you just you, maybe you may as well just may as well just play him. There's Drew Ellis purple. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I agree, Rex. The season's gonna be weird without fans. It's gonna be bad without fans, but I'd rather have it though, you know. Mark Vientos, I mean, I've been watching Korean baseball, and it's weird without fans. It's definitely weird without fans. There's Mark Vientos uh, for the Mets, Matthew Shira, but I'd rather have it than no baseball. 
Although my confidence in baseball coming back gets me a little nervous. I think the owners and the players have already been clashing because the CBA is coming up and that's already been been an issue. And so I think this is this is a yet another battle between players and owners. So I feel like basketball, those guys are like on the same page. You know, for the most part, they got to hammer out some details, but there's Peter Solomon, but I feel like they're kind of on the same page. I think players and owners have a bit of a better relationship compared to to people, to baseball players and ownership. There was a great, uh, there was a great, uh, I think if anybody subscribes to The Athletic, which I originally thought I wasn't going to pay for The Athletic, but then I started doing it, and it's actually, they have some pretty excellent content. Um, I think Tom Glavin had written, had written or was interviewed for a great article on the, uh, the current situation between players and owners. He was a players rep for the Braves when that strike happened in the mid-90s. And he was saying that the players got players got crucified, even though even though maybe they were they were correct in their position. And I think they're I'm with the players right now. I'm always with I'm always on the player side, not the owner side, when it comes to financial stuff. But optically, they're just going to look bad if you have like if you have like Blake Snell, like the likes of Blake Snell running his mouth. It wasn't the best way to go about it. Joe Perez. Astros, Michael Wheeler. Onions are my least favorite ingredient, but I feel like I can eat these little fried dips over and over and over again. And the other thing is scallops are probably my least favorite. So the, the baseball is going to be kind of nervous about baseball. Well, with basketball, Rex, I think it helps that, like, three-quarters of the season was already complete. I love spicy food, and I love this So I think the money stuff has been less of an issue, I think. And, like, and again, I think, I think the, uh, the basketball players have a better relationship with the owners and the league than baseball players do with their respective ownership and league. So... If there's any like, oh, you know, LeBron has to take a little bit of a pay cut, and, you know, players at a certain tier take a little bit of a haircut, maybe the league minimum guys get to keep everything, I don't know, I think they're going to work it out a little bit more easily than the baseball players would. It's going to be tricky with baseball, I think, just because there's just so much, so many battles happening already. There's Mitch Keller, rookie auto for the Pirates. That's going to be for Brian Zeller. I hope baseball comes back, though. I love baseball. Carter Keyboom, Joe Drobeck, Tatis Jr., rookie card, Rick Kay, Hunter Bishop, Atomic. Luis Gill, green to 99. That will be for the Yankees. That's going to go to Adam. He Lloyd Jimenez, rookie. There's Joe Adele again. Chris Paddock. And Cody Hosey. That, that baseball way back there, that's an autographed baseball that Joe P. got me. And that's Cody Hosey. There you go. Dodgers first round pick going to David Duffy. <laughs> you like how I top loaded this and didn't top load everything anything else? That's total Dodger bias right there. I did I did that subconsciously by the way. <laughs> Sorry. All right, what's up Jason? What's going on? I wonder how no fans will be mentally for the players. Yeah, I, I think it's going to be. I think it's going to be weird for ball players. I think it's going to be the weirdest for. Ooh, nice Keston Hero autograph to 50. I think it's going to be weirdest for, like, 
more momentum-y sports like basketball and football, soccer. I think that's going to be... There's J.P. Watts. Monochrome autograph, atomic refractor parallel of Wow, Aaron Judge. Woo. It is expired, unfortunately. But I don't know. I hope you can twist Tops' arms somehow about this. This goes to Adam Kupperman and the New York Yankees. From 2017, Bowman's Best Baseball. Wow. Yeah. Come on, Tops. Do him a solid. Do him a solid. Yeah, Adam's like, I hope they can fulfill it. I'll be honest with you. They're, they are kind of, uh, what's the old baseball term? Red asses about it. <laughs> but, you know, they, they, they get grumpy. They're like, oh, we don't want to do it. But maybe you can twist their arm. It is a special player. Dylan Cousins autograph for Adam and the Phillies. Uh, Christopher Cisse for the Rangers. That'll be for Edwin Heck. Let us know how that goes, Adam. Quentin Holmes, Cleveland Indians autograph for Kevin M. 46 out of 99. And we'll do left, right. There's an example right here. We're going to do left, right randomizers for those cards. We got D.L. Hall. Adam Copperman of the Orioles. <laughs> Kyle. Nice one, Kyle. <laughs> Poor Teddy. Oh boy. Hunter Green. Nice Hunter Green. Juan Hernandez with Hunter Green. He has the Reds. There's Javier Baez. <laughs> Screw you, Teddy. You got to do 24 hours by yourself. George Kirby, Mariners, Brian Zeller. No breaks, Ted. Reese Hoskins to 99. Franchise favorites, Bobby Witt Jr. I guess he is in here. C.J. Abrams, nice Padre for Rick. Are you kidding me, Kyle? What do you think? Obviously not. 20. No. He's a human. Make him work for 24 hours? Wow, I, yeah, Kyle was being, I, I didn't, I, I'm amazed you were being serious. No, Teddy's not going to be breaking for 20 out, 24 hours. That's ridiculous. He's a, he's a human being. Have you ever worked 24 hours in a row, Kyle B? That'd be crazy. We're not paying that overtime either. <laughs> Pay that overtime. All right. Wow. All right. Last box is the Sapphire. All the Sapphire card ship. Wow. 
Nice Eric Miller red. Two out of five. That's for the Phillies. That's for Adam Kupperman. Adam, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. Nice. We got Isaiah Campbell, green. Out of 50. Mariners. That'll be for Brian Zeller. There's Victor Victor Mesa. Alec Baum. Tristan Casas. Steer. Etc., etc., etc. And there you go. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Nice break. So we'll use one dice roll for both randomizers. So let's switch over to this screen really quick. We're, we'll go left, right on this randomizer right here. Left, right, rando. And then everyone gets a shot at that Jason Dominguez from David down to Joe and everybody in between. So if you're sitting there going, man, my break was terrible, Joe. Don't worry. You got a shot at the Jason Dominguez. Or if your break was great, you got a shot at a nice cherry on top. So for both lists, let's roll it uh, 11 times. Five and a six. Left, right first. One, two. And 11 the final time. Did it say with the left side the entire time? So it'll go to the left sides. So all those mirror image cards and all these cards right here will go to the left side. Let's go 11 times for the Jason Dominguez. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And 11 and final time. After 11 times, thanks everyone for getting in. Name on top gets the Jason Dominguez. It's Adam Kupperman who won a spot from Flash, Leaf Flash Baseball number nine. Adam gets the Jason Dominguez from 2019 Elite Extra Edition. Die cut auto, 9 5 10. Centering, edges, surface, a 9 5. Corners, a 9. The autograph, a 10. It's numbered 40 out of 50. There's the Martian right there. There you go. Very, very nice. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next. Congrats, Adam. See you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.